Right. Uh, the typical problem with um, Modbus TCP communications, right? So if you have, let's say, a preset controller, right? A Honeywell preset controller. Um, and let's, let's draw it like this. And, um, and you have a DCS system, right? And uh, let's draw it like this. And so let's say they talk uh, through a switch. Um, and then you have one port here and one port here. Right, so let's say they have an IP address of 192.168.8.136 um, and then let's say the other one has 192.168.8.1, yeah? Now, if, uh, if they're communicating via Modbus um, TCP, uh, and you you're not getting communications for some reason right you're not getting communications here or you're not getting communications there or you're getting bad communications for that matter so what you would do is you would um, you would isolate the DCS right and uh, take that away and uh, instead you would uh, put your computer over there yeah and you would run uh, Modbus uh, or uh, Modbus Master, or uh, as most of you would have used, you would use ModScan32, right? And uh, if you have problems with the preset controller, you suspect problems with the preset controller, you would take that away, you would take your laptop and you would put it in the other place, um, as in, you would put it where the um, slave is in this section. So let's put back the um, DCS. And if you have, if you suspect the preset controller has a problem, you would take the preset controller away, and then again you would put your laptop here. And what would you do? You would run Modbus slave in this. Um, in which case, mod mod sim mod sim or md bus in slave mode so the problem is you're you're either simulating the 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 slave or you're simulating the master at some point right uh, you're not collecting or the master yeah so you're not really collecting the actual data that is being transferred from dcs to preset controller and that's because most of the time it's not possible to do this using Modbus, uh, ModSim or ModScan because um, um, DCS, DCS is communicating with one particular IP, right? And then if you put your laptop in between, you, two devices on the same network cannot have the same IP. If, uh, if it has the same IP, it's going to say IP conflict and the computer is going to take take a default ip that will not work so what what would you do you would use wireshark i like wireshark because it it captures everything so if if you have a, a spare port over here all you have to do is put your laptop there your laptop can have an independent ip let's say 192.168.8.50 something in the same um subnetwork right and then you can run wireshark over here wireshark is going to take is going to is going to steal all the communications in that switch so everything in this switch is going to come to wireshark and uh, we don't need everything we just need all the modbus packets um, in wireshark so that's 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 what we're gonna do. As I showed you earlier, I showed you the unimportant parts um, uh, as running uh, um, Modbus Slave and Modbus Master on two different machines. They're running right now. Let's assume they're running, right? And then I'll, I'm gonna open Wireshark. So it, it opens up like this, very simple, very simple use. Uh, choose all the uh, interfaces that have um, any activity on them you would just press control and then choose all the uh, devices which have activity on them right 
now all you have to do is click on uh, the capture button and this is the capture button once you click on the capture button it's going to capture everything on that network right udp tcp everything we don't need all that all we need is modbus so we're going to write mbtcp enter and voila so um now we get modbus communications from everywhere right now you know maybe um there there are other devices on the network maybe there is two dcs's right and you, 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 you sorry and let's let's uh, be more better at drawing so maybe there are two dcs's right um as copy and then paste and then make this dcs small and then let's say this dcs was also there right and it has sorry it has um also connected to this switch and it has an IP address of 11 we don't want to see 11's data we just want to see DCS A and DCS B we just we're, we're only interested in troubleshooting one thing at a time so we just want this to this so how and to this so how do we do that by the IP addresses so we're gonna put an IP address filter on the data that we're gonna see over here that's quite simple just write and and I dot ip dot addr equals 192.168.8.1 um, and uh, ip dot addr equals equals uh, two equals i forgot 192.168.1.10 right and see if it's not right it's going to stay right if it's if it's okay it's going to turn green so it's green right now because i forgot I, I added two equals to so right now if you press enter huh oh eight sorry eight uh you will see only data between between these two between uh, um, um dcs a and um, dc um, and 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 the uh, preset controller so you filtered the data right now, now that's just for you to n watch but you know when when you give me the data you i want the whole data so what you're going to do is once you're done uh, maybe you collect the data for one hour and then stop uh, you can do all sorts of uh, you try different um, registers you try different uh, locations and collect all the data because we can analyze it later just press stop and at the end and then it's going to capture the entire package and the package capture is called uh, is will be a file called pcap or you can go to file and then save as um, enter the uh, let's say um, uh, bd uh, october 11th uh, capture um, shano or carder and then save it once you save it all you need to do is give me that file and I, I can analyze I can see the same data I can analyze it uh, however I, 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 I wish so that's pretty much uh, communication uh, TCP IP uh, uh, troubleshooting using live I would say using uh, Modbus uh, master sorry without using Modbus master and Modbus slave uh, without disconnecting anything uh, using Wireshark